Hey everybody, welcome back to Liberty City. This is Claude here. We are going to be... Let's turn our controller back on. We are going to be working for D-Ice again today. We are down here in Wichita Gardens. So we are going to run along, gather up all of our weapons once more. Nice to have that constantly resupplying bunch of weapons there. How many stuff have we got now? About 270 grenades. Look at all the 600 rounds for our sniper. Only thing we don't have is we don't have probably any uh, M16 stuff hardly. I need to get that, but otherwise we are doing quite good here. We're gonna get uh, get in the toys in the hood beater we've been playing with, and let's see if we can. Come on, get in it. There you go. Head on back down the hill and see what D ice is up to. We are in the middle. This is I've got a, about a 20 minutes here before I have to go showering go to work as I've said before that's why these games like these are so so nice that I can just jump on for 15 20 minutes try and fail a mission and then go on about my life all right I got the phone ringing come on and at some point we're gonna have to grab those gang rumpos you know I used to talk about how the the Lobos cars were the worst gang cars in the game no it definitely these gang rumpos here. You see them around. They're the ones that the uh, the red jacks and the purple nines wander around in. Those are the rumpo vans with like the graffiti on the side, and they are just horrible. Hello, officer. I'm gonna move on so I can get this phone here. All right, D-Ice. Some FSY my wheels to blow. If I lose those wheels, my rep on the street will be dead. Pick up my car and take it over to the garage on St. Mark's, all right, yo? Let them defuse that. Let them take care of that bomb. The clock's ticking and the wiring is messed up. One pothole too many and that thing could blow. Now move it. All right, geez, great. And I noticed we got a timer, too. So let's get broken here. Six minutes. Uh, it sounds kind of like the, sounds kind of like maybe the, the, uh, all right, where's your car at? You down this way? Sounds like, kind of like the Trash Master, uh, event where, nope, you're up top. Alright, let's circle back around and get the road going up. Hope that doesn't hurt us too badly here. Got a car rigged to blow. We're definitely going to have to drive better than we are in this van right now, but I'm just trying to get up there. Should have known it'd be parked up there and that up a lot. But I don't know what he was talking about. Diffuse. Diffuse. I wonder if, if he was actually written that way. If it was written that way to show uh, uh, somewhat lack of education or... I'm hoping the people at Rockstar knew it's diffuse, not diffuse. Unless, of course, he's wanting us to uh, to convert it into an aerosol and spray it into the air. Okay, there it is. We're down to a little less than five minutes here. That was not a good, a propitious start to this. Okay, get it to the garage. Watch out, the car takes too much damage. It will blow. All right, I was hoping we'd ever make that turn. Only thing I'm worried about here is getting shot at. Plus, it's in St. Mark's. Are they talking about from that eight ball? Do we need to get into eight balls thing. He's the the the. Oop. He is the, the bomb master. So is that where we have to take this? I. You know, I mean, did they know I'm KOS and in in, in St. Mark's? Man, if I if I survive the trip, I'll get shot and blown apart with shotguns once I get there. Oh lord, I wonder just how bad a hit we can take. We've come close there a couple of times. Oh, and here comes a crazy van tearing up the hill at about a thousand miles an hour. And the guy flying down all the pedestrian... Oops! Alright, so we tagged him and got a nice little mark there, so we can't hit cars too hard. Oh, y'all quit swerving into my lane. Oh, I 
hate this bridge too. Okay, how much we got? Three and a half minutes. Oh crap. We gotta pick up the pace. We gotta pick up the pace a lot here. Alright. We're definitely not gonna take the tunnel. Come on people, come on, come on, Brit. You come you better you better be coming down. That ringing better be you coming down. Oh god, oh god, stay up, stay, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Come on down, come on down, come on, I got three minutes. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go, let's, let's book it, come on. Oh, jeez, and I gotta figure out where I gotta go when I'm out there. I'm assuming they mean eight balls place, that's all I can think of. I can't think of another place. That's not St. Mark's though, that's in Harwood. Why the devil are they sending me to St. Mark's? All right, let's see if we can get through this traffic here. I think it's the second turn, isn't it? Yeah, it's this one up here is where I turn. But it's a straight shot across the other bridge now, which is actually more dangerous than the lift bridge because these people on this bridge drive like crazy. I gotta get the Triad territory. I gotta get the Diablo territory. Good Lord, D-Ice, you've sent me on an impossible mission here. Two minutes, good God, come on. All right, let's go straight. I don't want to turn, I was thinking about turning left, but if I do, I'm gonna end up in triad and, oh my God. Oh my God. Um, yeah, let's go this way, let's go this way. Okay, come on. Oh, that was a terrible hit. That was a horrible hit and I've got a minute and a half. I bet we can't take this sucker into the. Can't, bet we can't take this sucker into the pay, pay and spray either. Oh lord! All right, we can't hit another car. Not like that. My God! Oh! All righty. You see, that's why I say whenever I say we can pick this up and spend about five minutes. All right, we got to drive a lot faster, but a lot more careful here. I will be back with you in just a moment. People are so obnoxious these days, and rude. I mean, I tell my nanny to teach my kids some manners. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. Ugh. Did that woman say she was a nanny? Because Freddy needs a nanny because he's been a very naughty boy. No, no nannies. Let's go to our next caller, all right. Colonel James T., United States Marine Corps, 2nd Battalion. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid point. These kids today have no respect for authority. And there is one thing that would whip them into shape. <laughs> Let me guess, the, the military. That's right. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and it gives you a good pension. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where the super information highway has gotten them. Nowhere. It's a dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys. And some girls. If more people would join the military, this would be a better country. I tell you another thing about respect. These kids don't respect veterans. We fought for your freedom. When I came back from the Australian-American War, I didn't get a hero's welcome. I didn't get a pat on the back from my friends and neighbors saying, thanks for fighting for our freedom, Jane. And after years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and everyone's watching TV. Now, can, can you tell me what this Australian-American War was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. Have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American War was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't do two tours and take boomerang shrapnel in my head so I could come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They even wired kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping into camp, knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Laszlo? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. It's real unimportant, okay? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. And you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant, I just got shot in the head, unimportant. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes. Uh, why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just a little unhappy, a bit agitated. Real angry. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Can you imagine that? I mean, 
I do a man's job and all, but she treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa this and your pa that and you ain't a real man, Tony, and it's driving me freaking nuts. Well, Tony... Tony? How'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? Because if you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony, okay? Uh, okay. But my mom, she keeps going, Tony, Tony, be a real man, stand up for yourself, don't take no shit. But all I do is to be a good son, and I want her to show that she cares for me, show that she loves me, and you know, say I was a good kid, but it seems like nothing's ever good enough for her, you know what I mean? What do I do? Well, Toad, I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations, and we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. I'm still wondering if we go to eight poles? He's not in St. Mark, so let's cut to the right. Let's avoid any mafia. Don't, don't run any across any mafia. Come on. No mafia, no mafia, no mafia, no mafia. Why is that place right there? Oh, look at all the mafia. They're not shooting me, though. Hello? Why are they not shooting at me? That is weird. That is very weird. All right, here's the test. We got a guy with a shotgun right here. He ignored us. They ignored us. For some reason, the mafia is ignoring us. I don't know why. Get the car repaired. That's fine. We can get the car repaired. That's time. The timer is gone. Okay. All right, fantastic. Where do we got to take this? Do we take it back? Let's let's go hit the pay and spray. You would know that I would bang the car like that as I'm driving into the damn place to fix it, wouldn't you? Um, they're still not shooting at us. All right, if they're not shooting at us, does that mean triads and all are not going to shoot? Has anyone taken a pot shot at me? Yet? No one is shooting. I mean, I drove past a couple of triad guys there, and nobody took a shot at me. That is weird. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow, because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bounce. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory, where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh-oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Help! <laughs> Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission. To storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since Bouncing Bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game, Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls, Pogo the Monkey quilt covers, and Pogo the Monkey car covers. For the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tie-in sports jacket? For the lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products so she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. Let's get over to the Vale, and we'll get the car repaired there. In fact, I think I'll cut all this part out until we get across the bridge again. We'll see you when we get over there. Okay, we have crossed the bridge, we are passing the airport, we are back in Shoreside, uh, Shoreside Vale? I keep sometimes wanting to call Sunnyside Vale, I think it's Shoreside Vale, that's the name of it. We are headed up to the Pay and Spray, which I am trying to remember where it's at in this particular place. Um, Pump Noodles, Pay and Spray, is it up here to the left? Thinking it's in that section. And now here, you say it's to the right here, maybe in that conglomeration. Right, that's 
the hospital, that's the police department. I've been by it once. I do not remember for sure who it was. I actually want to say it was down here in that bunch of stuff. I'm not sure. Pain spray, where are you? There we go, pay and spray. Alright, it's not the easiest one to get to. It's kind of like the, the one in Staunton Island. It uh, can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Alright, let's not bang it up on the walls as we go out. Okay, um... Exit this way. See if we can get out here. Let's cross the bridge. Oh, nobody ran into me, please. Okay. Yes, all right, cross the bridge. Let's see, there should be some Colombians on the bridge. Let's see if they shoot at me. Maybe you don't get shot at in this particular mission. All right, let's go down the hill. We're almost back, folks. Let's not get into a car wreck. Or yeah, if we passed some Colombians there, they did not shoot at us. So I don't think gangs are active in this particular one. That is nice. I think they did recognize that there is practically no way in the world you could have done this. That ice cream truck. Uh, I don't think there's any way in the world you could have done this with the gang shoot puncher. You would have, you know, they would have had to pay, have a pay and spray right next to the ice's right next to D-Ice's parking lot up here. Okay, so it looks like we have made it back in the middle of a raging thunderstorm. And we go right on up in here. Did that get it? Did that get it? Yes. Oh! I left out my dentist. Oh, God. All right, I'm gonna take it back up and get it repaired. And I will see y'all whenever I pull it back into the parking space here. Damn, 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 damn. All right, we're back. I've had to go back to the second spray and pray. <laughs> Pay and spray a second time. Because as I'm turning in up here, I'm going a little too fast, and I slide into this lamp post right here in Dennett. So I had to go back again. Who would have thought that the hardest part of this entire journey for me would be the stretch across the bridge and around this little road here that doesn't spawn any traffic? Ah, there we go, 20,000. Although with three pay and spray trips, three repair trips, Actually, 20,000 there. Uh, 17,000 after you take that off. All right, Lord. Let's get back down. Let's lock it up. Oh, I'm happy to have that one out of the way. That was actually a pretty damn easy mission. Uh, actually, a hell of a lot easier for me than the drive-by mission was, you know? It's like I don't mind that one at all, even with the timer. Uh, fortunately, yeah, they, they definitely... Um, where am I going? Fortunately, they definitely had gangs cut off because nobody was taking a shot at me. You know, none of the mafia. I could have probably driven right through the heart of Diablo and Triad Turf without anybody uh, trying to kill me. So that was cool. Let's park this beater up in here so we'll have a car next time. Go out, collect our weapons. And there you go, there is the Rig to Blow, I think was the name of that mission. That is it out of the way now. So we are going to finish this one up. I will go and save it. Uh, there we go, that's a great place for us to stop. So we'll sit there, I'm not gonna put the, I'm not gonna put the, 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 the uh, controls back to, to, so I'm facing, not gonna take a break there. We'll just leave it here as we're looking back across the bridge and that big old moon is the night's ending stars are going to be disappearing out of the sky and we will see you next time thanks for coming along and bye bye that's going to be what now we have officially got um two missions left for de-ice so we are down to i think six seven official but since one of them's a 
two-parter, six missions, I think, left. So we will see you then. Bye-bye.